Welcome back to the Celtic Supporters Podcast. Special edition today, episode 18, with John Byrne for the John Byrne Foundation. Um, I've been looking forward to this one, as you all know, um, on my social media and that. We've done a wee charity event the other week, quiz night, and, and raised 800 quid for, for John's charity. So we'll crack on, mate, and just let you... Talk a wee bit about yourself and the foundation before we get started now, Selick. Right, okay, okay. Um, listen, thanks for having me on, first of all. Um, I've had a couple of mishaps in there the last couple of weeks, but it's not happened, but um, it's eventually up and running now, so cheers for having me on. Um, I'm a charity, um, I've always worked in the kids' hospital, um, volunteering and stuff, like, you know, I think it's in the like maybe 14 years now, 13 years. Um, I kind of got to like, the fourth or the fourth year in, and I was like, I was meeting the same kids there and there again, and because they were in long term and <coughs> stuff like that. So I was buying them stuff that my own pocket, and um, right. no big things or anything like games, and um, like teddy bears, things to kind of, you know, I mean, cheer them up and keep them going because they're obviously in long time, long time. So um, I got asked one day to, uh, um, if I could get it for this little lassie, um, she was like four or five year old um, she had been in intensive care for I think it was six months um, right. so she had meningitis so she lost both her arms both her legs so she had been doing it the door and I just thought like okay so I need to come up with something other than just a toy here so um, I was at a Celtic event um, it was like a night with Paul McStay and Gail Ferdinand All right. um, so Paul McStay is one of my team heroes, Celtic uh, fans, you know what I mean? Everybody so, was like, didn't they? Uh, it was one of the things like, they asked you to look under your, uh, kids under a seat or something around the table, and one of, uh, somebody next to you, one of the ones, one of the same bar. So she gave it to me, and I was like, yeah, you know what I mean? And, um, but what I'd done is I sold the bar um, to a, a mate of mine for over the odds money, because uh, um, I had this plan in my mind that I was going to do something for this girl. So that's what I'd done, so the guy, um, I told him what it was for, and he said, um, I'll give you a hundred quid, I'm like, a hundred quid, all right, you better get at least double on it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so he's like, you're my you know what I mean? That's like, last thing you get plenty, you know what I mean? So he's like, right, I'll give you two. It's like, by the way, you're going to watch it too, because I might have bought it myself or two. And he's like, two fifty, I'm like, fine. So I got the money, and it just, it was about this time, actually, um, maybe about seven or eight years ago. Um, it was like, there was a big thing on in, um, in Breehead, it was um, Disney Nights. Aye, aye. So I thought that ticks all the boxes for a sweet girl. Um, so I got one of the nurses that the, the hospital come with me. We got a taxi, we got the wee girl, the wee girl's mum. Took them along. Not a big thing, by the way, for a lot of people. Just kind of take it for granted, aye, just take your mate But for a sweet girl, it was like, what a lot of Like, she, she's been through more than anybody I've ever met in my life. Um, so that's what they've done. So, <coughs> they took the wee girl there and I went and all and normally you couldn't have died something like that. No, I'm the same mate. Just absolutely slaughtered but, um, but I thought no, this is going to be this. So I just sat there and <coughs> kind of, I was looking at her, just, she was just completely zoned in and what was going on. It didn't matter what she was going through because we had to go take her back to the hospital and stuff like that. And, she for that hour, hour and a half, she was just tuned right into Disney on the So I thought, do you know that's something? Right. That's, that's, um, that's just a different class, so I came away from there thinking, like, I mean, it's Disney nice to know, and I'm starting to set up a bit of social media kind of stuff, and I'm thinking, well, maybe I could, maybe I could have a Christmas party for them, a couple of weeks or whatever, and then I'm thinking, well, if it's Disney nice to know, maybe this time next year, maybe we could get a family to Disney, uh, uh, Disneyland Paris. Mm-hmm. So, we had that Christmas party, and at that time, I would have got a lot of money. I had good contacts down at my hall. So they, they gave us um, like the venue and we put on our lunch and stuff. So I'd be waiting to get like a 20 pound toy and it wasn't much, but they got them all out and they got different stuff happening and it'd be brilliant. Um, so like, that's how I kind of get started with it all. Um, it all started with that ball then? It did. It, it did. Started. It started with the same ball and like the year later, like, I, I'm just like, it went crazy. Um, yeah. Because people were buying into the idea and, and, and it was making a huge difference to everybody. Um, because not only were people in the hospital benefiting, but people were, were, were paying the cash and money. They were seeing exactly where it was going. And 
And you're like, what can you do about a fiver? But the people in line, and I was in the hospital that day, so I didn't go to my magazine, and I wrote my wee care about it, saying, hope you're all right, and you're back today. I'm just going to be magazine. And that made some difference. Yeah, a fiver, do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that difference, I've been reading up a wee bit on the foundation there, so I, I lost a wee sister alone. She was 18 months. She was in and out of the hospital constantly, so that's that's quite close to my heart that you're doing. So after, obviously, the ball, and then that, to, to where you are now and the money you're bringing in is absolutely phenomenal, man. Because, as I said, we had, um, we had kids in, in, in Disneyland, and then, but it's not just a case of going about in Disneyland with these things. There's all sorts of uh, like insurance stuff and their um, illness, and it's just a, an absolute rigmarole. But, um, but we've done it, and do you know what I mean? We've had kids in Lapland, Disneyland, Disneyland, Paris, Disneyland, America. Um, we've had kids in Cyprus, we've had kids all over the globe, and um, so, but I think, like, I, I was about a year after something, and yeah, a two years maybe, and then I get nominated for Scotland Zero, two people seen that, nominated me for that, but it started off what it was like a thousand people, so I didn't really take it serious, to be fair, at the start, um, but it went to like a thousand, to like five hundred, like two fifty, and it was doing and doing and doing, and, and then it got to like, I think it was like, um, Left on it, and they can that. But so SDV were obviously phoning me and saying, What can you send a camera to a bit where you see what you're doing? And I was like, and It started to dawn on me a wee bit then, do you know what I mean? I was like, So it's happening, yes, man. Like, this is all I need. It was good publicity and stuff, but I don't really like the attention, do you know what I mean? Aye, aye. So I had to kind of set up, kind of, I was doing different things in the hospital, and I had a full camera crew to have seen about that. <laughs> they were stood outside my house, and they were in my house, and it was um, Nicholas McDonald that was um, oh, in the doctor. Oh, Nicholas, you just got the road. That's right, aye. So, <clears throat> so he was rolling about um, doing stuff. And but it was mad because people knew, I don't know how they knew, but they knew he was in my house. And they'd be like, I've got 10, 10, 15 lassies outside my house. And I'm like, <laughs> but huh? I said, like, oh, there's no chance. <laughs> But, um, but he's helped me a lot as well. Ah, good. He seems a good boy. I've got no personal, but he seems a really good boy. I think obviously he's had his moments at times as well. We mm-hmm. know well when he was younger, and he kind of knows how the kind of charity stuff works, and he's been a big supporter of the half-time, yeah. you know what I mean? So, I see the Scott and Chilo hanging, it was like down to the last 10, I had to go to like Edinburgh and um, the Bank of Scotland for sponsoring it, and I had to go to televised stages, and I was like, oh, Jesus, do you know what I mean? This is and <laughs> so I was allowed to take people with me, um, so I took two of my mates with us and um, uh, my boss to the hospital and my mum and my sister. So, but my two mates were like, oh, I'll party time, do you know what I mean? And Great, I had to say that. They were all getting their dinner and I'm sitting there with black ones, you know what I mean? Like one of them that's going to happen. And so I got put two categories. Um, Did you have to prepare in advance for a speech and all that? No, because I didn't end up winning nothing. <laughs> so I went away and nobody made up my mind, I knew it was too, well, right, I said, I could categories, right, and if you win your category, you go into, like, the main thing, and, like, the end of the ah, right, right. So I was, like, in, um, community, the community land or something, or whatever it is, um, so I was thinking, like, there was a big age people there that, like, a guy rescued somebody for a burning motor and all that, like, flames built in it, and I was like, man, I'm not doing anything, at least save somebody's life, and, there was other people that were doing other stuff and you're thinking, but I won that, um, so I was like, you know, I was quite happy with that. I got settled for that, like just going back and saying, well, I want to make some money, and I was like, aye. just to get out, right? Um, so I was like, I was sitting in this big studio and I was like, oh, I don't know, 200, 300 people there. And so I'm just sitting there and then it's like, Harry Smiley, she's up like, um, she's just ready to announce the winner. And then I seen the camera panning around me and I was like, need the user, like, so I turned around and my mate was greeting. I said, like, hi. Jesus, man, I'm trying to look at him. And, and then they're like, like, I said to you up on stage and then, um, like, I've not prepared anything here, do you know what I mean? I'm just trying to get him. Hundreds of people there, I like that. Oh, so people are getting that. Most celebrities and stuff. And, but um, they put us up in a hotel and stuff like that as well. And, um, but uh, I just don't know, I don't like that. So it was good to run it because he gave me kind of, Surely that then prepared the charity yeah, a big time there, I'd imagine, did it? It did financially and just getting it out there. Um, Aye. 
but I don't know, like that aspect yet, you know what I mean, because I can under the radar, yeah. do what I need to do, and then just do the guns, you know what I mean, but I had to, sometimes you need to get the publicity, but to keep going and Aye. to get the money coming in, to keep going and keep doing what you're doing, but um, I so that's kind of how it all started, man, just went like, crazy, and um, just every week we're up the hospital, we'd all and stuff, keep the stuff in, there's a, about 40 or 50% of the stuff I do, I don't do it on social media, you know what I mean, because it's maybe too close to people's hearts or it's going to the radar stuff. It would, it would take your youth life a wee bit to a certain extent and off you're having to sit and fucking phone every day and do that and do this and do that. And the idea, especially, I know how busy you are, know what I mean? So especially just now, it's, it's always the case here, like a couple of weeks before Christmas, I'm trying to do as much as I can for different kids' school schools and and then obviously Wayne's and then we had guests with the big Christmas party. I've seen been. that, I was going to touch on that scene, George Bowie and... <laughs> and George uh, yeah. The folk for Frozen and that, yeah. the kids looked as if they had a ball to be fair, it was good. Look, ball taking it enough, well, well, George took the hat and the duke in the hat on, didn't he? So it's like ball taking, man, but um, it was the only kind of place we could have it that was safe, it was kind of semi outdoors and aye, just like aye. a canopy and um, I need to be careful, do you know what I mean? I need to watch the range and the, the people that were both wearing and obviously my own staff and the staff in there and just try to keep it right, do you know what I mean? But um, normally we have it in the, the same hotel, but I have eight man doses now as I get like to the station. Aye, uh, they're going but can't have it anywhere like that. And it's too dodgy in the thing. We we put this carry on, and I know we we might not be too lucky with it. Do you know what I mean? So I, as I said, I done my best yesterday for them, and it went well. Do you know what I mean? It could have been better times, but it went all right. Good mate, hats off to you, man, and the work you do for the kids are amazing, and not just the kids. I see, but. You take a bit of scram into the nurses and all that and... Aye, well that was a thing we done during the lockdown there. Um, Aye, because, I've seen um, that. Trying to kind of cheer up the NHS staff and stuff like that. So we were doing our different um, A&E departments and stuff. And Bruni ended up giving us, um, I think he gave us a grant to Bob's up. Good. So I gave our A&E uh, departments, I think it was, I think it was like on a country trip or something. Aye. Yeah. Um, I got to go to the A&E departments with Roy and all that. And he just went bum 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 and just gave them money, whatever they needed. Um, he sent them into food. Kept them born, and was dubbed in, and aye, ah, it's just that help everybody, do you know what I mean? But exactly. main focus is obviously the range of things, but um, but we don't we don't mind too much that happens. Aye, of course, we, of course. So well, if uh, anybody's want to know anything about the foundation, you'll get John on Facebook. Uh, just John Abam and the John Abam Foundation on Facebook as well, and Scotland's Hero uh, Fifteen. On Twitter, ah, is that right? Yeah, that's right? So that's John's socials if he's about to fall in, keep an eye out for any any charity stuff if he's got any at all that he can donate. And well I'm on the on the fact the the donation stuff, I just want to give a shout out to all the boys for a couple of Fridays ago. Boys for Kavluk, the boys for Washi, Motherwell, eh, Cleland and all the other kind of Lanarkshire that, that turned up to my class and, and raised eight eight hundred quid for the charity. So a wee shout out to all of them because I've not really spoke to anybody in the last couple of weeks. So, on my behalf, thanks very much for, for, for turning up that week. And big Tony Reynolds again for, for letting us use, not just today, but the last six months, the Bullfrog Bar, the home of the Cairn team, the Celtic Supporters Club. Big shout out to Tony, who's been brilliant with me. So, thanks to him as well. And we'll crack on, mate, with the Celtic. Okay. And we'll get in about it. Um, right. What I normally always do with, with my guests is just Back as far as you can, remember when, when you first started, you got to watch it out. Right, okay. Um, I think it goes back to 87. 87, aye. The what I can remember. I remember it just before I came here. Um, I was going with my dad, and then I think that's when I got my first season ticket. Bill was out of part and all that. Um, so it was 87, I'm sure it was. Um, but obviously, I remember being 8 now because we were on the bubble and aye. stuff like that. And I was at Hamden and we were on the bubble and then we were on the league and that. So, aye, it goes way back to then. Um, so I've had a season ticket since then, 87, 88. Um, I went to present, do you know what I mean? Right through, aye, all the way. Right through. Good going, mate, so good like going. Early 90s, early 90s, that's when I started going to away games. Um, I think the first one was, I think it was in Denver Park, actually. And then it was in Aberdeen, and then it kept going, and then we were up in the list again after that. But the 90s, as everybody knows, it was the Rangers thing. Um, do you know what I'm talking about? The Celtic were atrocious. Um, um, Aye, it was, it was a hard time. I actually spoke about it the other day. I done a, a, a charity podcast for a Celtic State of Mind. Oh, aye, I've seen that. And it was, uh, it was tough times, but I always go back to that Tommy Burns team and all about how good they were to watch. Oh, Even okay. though we only won 
for the centenary year to Stoughton 10, we only won that 95 Scottish Cup, we've been here, didn't we? I mean, I say, um, was that happened in that day? And, do you know, you didn't eat for minutes. And, and I, it was just mental, like, we could see before that, but as we spoke about with Paul McStay, I always remember the Rafe Roberts Cup final. You know what I mean? Have a Gordon D. Ellis been in it? I mean,
De van die? Maar beschrijf ah. maar ik weet het niet, precies van je. 80 euro. Wat? Dat is heel te weten. Ja, dat is wel een beetje. Ja, dat is wel een beetje. Jezus. Ik was poker, ik was terrible, man. Piraat story. Dat was maar een beetje, man. Ik ben niet langs, maar ik ben niet langs. Ik ben niet langs. 50 euro. 50 euro. Dat is een beetje. Ik kon nog een beetje als mijn ding. Maar wat meer die Brexit? Ja, ik weet het. Ah, ik weet het. Maar wat ook lang, maar. Ik, de platform, everybody, oh, you can get scalped for the platform. Aye. Like different places went through the deal, but Liverpool and oh, you'll get beaten. So it just kept going and going and going. Aye. Even we went to another camp, I think it was a year after. It was true. It was true. It was true. Aye, that was a year, I'm sure. Tomo scored at Park Cape. Tomo did. And then we drew behind each other. That's right. David Marshall. That's right. I was there because Celtic played. He gave his life, didn't he? He did because he gave his life again, like, two days later. He went to Ibrox, didn't he? Aye, that's right, aye. Or the Beach Ball, isn't it? I think it was at that time. No, the Beach Ball was the last derby game I forced a goal, wasn't it? Exactly, so it was. But I remember Marshall having a blinder two in a row there. That's right, by the way, aye. Forgot about that Rangers game, actually. You look at that, see that Barca team, I know about it, obviously. And posted Messi and things like that now, but see then it was like Xavi, Iniesta, Iniesta. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. It's one of the best players I've ever seen Celtic come up against. Ronaldinho is... And every, everybody's go to in it as they go. Oh. See Messi, uh, Ronaldo. Uh, well, Ronaldinho's my favourite player of all time. It's, well, it's, it's, it's hard to argue with that because the things that he used to, like, see that night in the, in, in the camp now, like, he was putting them on a plate all night for people and they just couldn't score. No. Like, but he was, no. he's rising. I always remember like, the goal scored against Chelsea when he got on the camp, I think, I think, then. Nah, he, he was starting still. The he toe poked it. Like, Aye. That's one of the best ones I've ever seen. So their team at that time was just long, long, long. Do you know what I mean? And, but and you, you, look, you, look at, you look at the two results and sometimes folk don't speak about it because the goal to one is obviously a Tony Watt game. That's right. But you forget how good a team that was. We drew and beat to put out. Exactly. And that, I think, I think, I don't remember if I'm right or not, but I'm sure they get popped to the next round, didn't they? They did. I, think, I can't remember who it was that beat on. Yeah, but they did get beaten in the same way. Aye, aye, sure they did, aye. They estimated the team effort, didn't they? They actually ended up putting Barca out, didn't they? The old Seville story's been quite prominent on the podcast. I've had so many stories that's been unbelievable about how folk got there, folk without tickets, sleeping in streets, this and that. So, what's your recollection of the final? Did you get in there? Were you actually at the game? Aye, we went for a week. Obviously, kind of, I don't think I got any hockey stories to be honest, but, um, <laughs> but uh, we went for a week, we hired a, a brother, there was a place called Al Gaboro or something like that, it was miles away, it was Seville. Um, I think these folk were, weren't they? It was at the top of a mountain, oh, it was pretty it? much, but it was just itself, don't get me wrong, spectacular, and there was like 12 ways, do you know what I mean, and stayed for the week, but we went to different places, do you know what I mean, and um, we went to Seville, and I can't think of my stories, um, so we had two cars, two or three cars, so we, we drove to, um, oh, where was it? It was somewhere in Spain. It was, it was, it was very hot, you thought, you can't even remember. It. So we thought, well, we'll just cash in the motor. Right, we'll just, just go to get back. It's my birthday, actually. And then, well, we'll just go, just we'll have a swally. Just head back to the motor um, and just we'll cash it in the motor. And I was like, here, yeah, no danger in my, in my, in my can, motor. Can you put a load of that? Aye, right, so I was just straight out all night. Um, so I went back to the motor about 8 in the morning and my mate and everybody's in the motor, so I opened the door. Stinking. It smelled like a pet shop, like, oh. it's arse it and then we were, we were a guy down and we were like, where's Gary? And I'm like, I don't know where he is. He was in the boot, right? So, oh, so we opened the boot and he's in the boot. That's good to know, by the way. So I opened the boot and we'll drive up the road. And he was, uh, shut the boot and throw up the boot. That's good. He even banged him. Banging the thing behind him. He's like, I mean, you know, I, I, you had your chance. We all got these mountain roads, man. That's good, Must have been sweat box, man. He's aging by the way, he's aging by the way. He's aging by the way. What's your recollection of any Sadal or the fans before you actually got into the game once you got there and seen the Hogs of Celtic fans and all that there? Sure, it's one of the few games that I've been to, but I've not got that much recollection about the game because it was that intense. Aye, um, aye. Walking up to the game. I mean, you, you go to big games here and every step, right, we're all like that, right, but it was different now. It was a different, a, a different atmosphere. It was like, Jesus, this is a real deal here, do you know what I mean? Aye. Like, I forget if I cut, you know, and 
شايف فيه زي البي ان عارفه نورمال بس بس هاو كان يو تيك كمان على ان اوه 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 I was struggle with that, didn't you? I was 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 I there's a defence for the three big units at the back and a gap and that bombing up and down the line. Some team. Tom on the left, man. Some team. I got a big ball out there. Oh, there's no John Harkson and I'm on John. There's John on his back, don't you? Aye. He's a big king and all. A big Harkson was banging on for Celtic at that point. Who else got injured? Because Jackie Macknell. Maybe Jack, I don't know. Jackie Macknell started, but he was starting. Do you know what? Actually, she just got a bit blobby stuff just before that. Um, she was kind of, because of that ground was all getting done up, um, they kind of disabled but it was a kind of temporary, they just put it behind a board, behind the goal, where Larson scored. Oh, so why are you just having your serve, right? right? So it was just an unbelievable moment. Like, what do you think? Just, I'll always, I'll never forget it, as long as I love just the King, like, obviously scoring that goal, and they were time wasting all day, and then the Matt goal, uh-huh. and the Matt goalkeeper was like the roadrunner trying to get the ball at the next, you know what I mean? But after that, we had to go through the tunnel to get out because that's where the lift was, quite Oh, right. Really? So, we ended up, we were sitting in the dugout with Mark Manilo and, and um, John Robertson and that after the game. Right, yeah, aye. I just thought about the game and I, I think it was John Robertson, I think he was quite a bit, he was smoking. Aye, aye, aye. He was quite a bit right. smoking. He was sitting there like, just talking away to him and then Jackie went to Mark, actually, we just thought about Jackie, he came out and gave me his coat. Did he? I can't even remember if he came on, but... It's fun on his PlayStation, I'll go right now. Ah, you're really good. Nah, you're good, man. Um, but I wish I'm wrong up that, you know what I mean? Ah, you're amazing. Well, that's when you always think you're a generation and we're spoiled with a name that. You might know the air game, but... See, drama, that's Europa League, and you're looking at that conference. You never know, by the way. You get a couple of signings, obviously, the three Japanese boys, like I said, I forgot to come in in January, so... You never know, get a wee run. あの、だから、私、私、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、その日、
Like even in like even in the ninety club man, if you're running to the nothing of it, still chasing goalkeepers down. Doesn't he stop? Doesn't he stop, man? I think it's quite synonymous with, with, with the Asian culture, but like, Japanese and Chinese players and that, like they are mega, mega, mega fit. Right. I'm lo- I'm looking forward to the boy Hatati and Maeda coming in. Can't even other the other guys name. Not sure. Um, uh, the boy yeah. Maeda looks phenomenal, but I, mean, I, I think this, as we say, January's big. So see if they three come in. Plus another three or four. For me, I've got to me you know text me about Mikey Johnson that day. <laughs> B John says he's fucking better man. I don't think so. I think Mikey Johnson's back in class, but I think I think guys like Johnson, even, even though they've done no bad at the weekend, but if you've got Forrest, you've got Maida, you've got Jota, you've got Abada, I think you've got to look at the likes of Shaw, Uragidi. Possibly Johnson to get me a minute to, to, get, to get them out on loan. I think there's a few that could be them again at the door, to be fair. I mean, you look at the squad in between uh, the B team and the first team, they're absolutely. throwing about doing nothing. But this is what I mean, right? So, if you've got your, your first choice front line with Jota, and you've got Kyogo, and you've got James on the other side, right? Bad you see the other wing, you see, you see, you see the other way, and you take them off, and you put... Three on. Light for light, right isn't it? Um, and you're struggling because uh, the three of them can't, the, the three you're bringing on are maybe, maybe as good as the fans you had going to. So, well, exactly. So, there is kind of players up there that they need to, they need to be moved on. And I don't know how they do it, but there's people on, up there, on big wages up there that need to go. Ah, um, uh, the likes of a duty is, is a must. Uh, Barking arse, as I call them, is, a, is another it's, must. It's mad how that's worked out for him because he came with some reputation and and I, I, and I, and, and I, you can you, can you remember the Athens games? Aye. I, I, see, I can't even remember and that's, how I'll, that's how I always thought, if I can't remember him, he must not be that good a keeper. Like, we were, we were shite against him. But I just, think, I, I just think he got, the qualities are there, but I don't think he can handle the, the whole pressure of the Celtic. I, I, I would go as far to say, outfield and, and, and between the sticks, he, he's one of the worst players I've seen at Parkhead. I'm no kidding, but... See when, you, see when you compare it with, with how much safer and how much an impact Joe Hart's made. No, no just as a goalkeeper by the way, as a person. No, no. Um, on the park, captains wise, after the game, going up to the fans and all that. It's unreal. Aye, it's phenomenal. He's been a fucking great signing by the way. And he's a player that we've all been holding kind of like about the last few years, aren't he? And Aye. You bring him in, I mean, we talk about Kyogo and Jota. Jota's outstanding. He's a, he's a star man, isn't he? But you look at Ivanovic. I mean, uh, I uh, just thought about like of our best Celtic 11, right? And there's no many players just now that you would put into that category, right? But he's, he's close. Aye, he's some, close somebody actually right. said the other day, he's, he's looked better on the left than he did the last two games playing at right back. Obviously, I'm lucky with, with big, big Tony getting injured. And right. Taylor's so, come right. back in. I'm, I'm not Taylor's biggest fan, but this boy Hattati's meant to be playing. A left back. So if you get Ralston, you get Granovic, you get two on the left, you're, you're doubling up on your wingers, you're doubling up on your attackers. That's what we need. Because whether you like it or not, the, the Serve Co have to be firing in all cylinders. But oh. see, when you look at their squad and their bench, it's, it's strong, isn't it? It's very, very strong. The, the people that they're bringing on, compared to the people that we're bringing on, there's a big old part there. Parasy, exactly. Parasy, um, and all that, innit? Cala, people like that, uh, they're, 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 they're going there. They were and no far away. I think Ange needs another, at least one in their transfer window. Um, I think if we can go into... January the summer, eh? Well, I think, I, I've got it. Well, I mean, we should have been doing all right, but the last part of games I felt, like, against Aberdeen and against Hearts, can I stutter down the line a wee bit? Right? But I think... 
if we can get to January and we're not in a mere points that's the big thing. That's then the I think thing, we'll, we'll, we'll be a big challenger. But if they drop any of their points down between the and the last old Burn game and the four, five, six, seven points down on we ain't calling that back. Um, sure, they've, they've, they've got a reasonably hard run. Correct me if I'm wrong, you might be able to fix this better than me, but mother will like aiming it. We play. I said, you lost County away. We play St. Murray, you know. St. Murray was in the 22nd, actually. Trying to get people for that. Cup finals squashed out in between. I see. I actually ran real. Then we play Hibs at Park Heath. I see. Then Rangers. But they've got. They've got the hearts of the game. Aye, they have been contrary. Aye, they've been contrary to go to an off. I mean, hearts are kind of. They wouldn't just be hard to lag in a wee bit of the hearts, aren't they? But Aye. Ten castles are always the hard place to go to. I mean, no matter what Celtic team we spoke about, it's always difficult to go to the hearts. Aye, it's um, always a hard place. But you don't go there, you don't, you very, very rarely go there and turn around, don't you? Yeah. But I think it can be a hard uh, It's probably the best one to go to. Absolutely. I was going to ask you that. What, what was your, oh, what's your favourite one? Definitely, aye. Um, it's always been my, my favourite one. I mean, because it's kind of disabled, but there's kind of above the, the crossbar. Oh, is um, that right? Do you know what I mean? Was that the same at Tanadice? Because um, I've, I've seen your pictures for the weekend. Aye, Tanadice is like the very back road, Tanadice. So oh, is that what it was? Which isn't bad, but obviously you're going to get people stoning in front of you. It's not too easy aye, to see. Aye, but, aye, aye, aye. but these people were actually, on Sunday night, actually, they were but what can I say to them? I can't see Sir Enbrook's going in behind us. Oh, so Sir Enbrook brand new. But um, the Tyne Castle for me, it's quite a close and grun to the, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. And it's always been my favourite. I don't know if it's just the like, kind of hated and stuff, and just quite good. Ah, you're just, you're just, you're just as bad as no worse, aren't you? They are worse, I've seen their trouble at uh, Tyne Castle, I've seen their Ibrox. Horrible, mate, I remember. Just, I think it's just a Glasgow Edinburgh thing with him half the time, but. I remember the semi final at Murrayfield getting off the bus. I see. Oh, the ball was getting through it. It was, oh, not, calm, it was mental. Ah, it was mental. Right, well, we spoke about uh, the old best <laughs> 11, which, which is no easy to do, I don't know. You could probably, you could probably write. I mean, I, I, I've done my interview with my big ho- hoggy interview with you on this as well, and I've looked back at my team and I'm going, ah, I never thought we did the EDs and all that. But, then you change it and you put it back in the mirror. And, oh, it's, <laughs> it's so hard, but it's so hard back to front. It is. So it is. It doesn't matter what I love when you pick somebody, you always go, oh, what's she doing? And I've got to have a time. It's just a bit, you know, just a bit of what ones you've been watching as well, and going to see the ones that have accepted you, you know, and even done well for the year that you've been going to watch, say, but that's aye, it's a tough it, one to they do. They kind of turn off what we've always done well. You've been going again for the best part of fucking 30 years anyway, so. They always obviously do the best of living on who you've seen, who you've Aye. actually seen. So if you've been going against 87, then quite looking forward to this one actually. Right, so I was even stuck right away between Boric and Fraser Foster. Every single oh, person on it. I couldn't get a bag paper between them, to be honest, but person, I went for Boric. What's, what, uh, what formation are you going? I was just talking about that. I, went, I, was, uh, I don't know, I was going to just probably go for the. Uh, yes, but I was thinking four five one because I think they're going to be better on the king. But um, but I, I bought it straight just because. I run once once you name me run through give me back why why you picked him. Right, Fraser Foster was unbelievable. There's no uh, no doubt about that how good he was. Um, but she bought it. It's just the sheer arrogance here. Uh, um, nothing I didn't I care about nothing, and he was absolutely phenomenal. Just the presence. You know, just he always fancied up to save a pen. Oh, yeah. Every time, man. Still going on, huh? Ah, uh, exactly. I've been standing here tonight. I listen. It ripped right out him. Ah, it ripped right out of him. The arrogance. You seen it when he was at high books with the flag and the. Ah, uh, I care. I think the general consensus on on the podcast, and it, it's ninety nine percent of the time, and maybe a hundred percent of the time. I don't know if there's anybody else. No, in fact, I interviewed a lassie for for Yuri in Belfast last week. And she picked Big Packy. But I think that was a kind of. I think that was kind of. Apparently the heart strings and all that. I remember, I remember Packy playing. Um, I, he used to do alright till he broke in that fast back, I remember, mate. Oh, oh. Good, good man, Jesus Christ. Man. Uh, my my abiding memory of Big Packy wasn't really like saves and that. It was always that yellow tap with all the wee tiny green squares oh, on it. Right, and the World Cup, and the World Cup '94. That that's my memory of the uh, rather than Celtic. I always remember it was Italia '91. I was no '94 
but they had a they had a blinder. Was that not the was that not the year Ray Houghton scored that goal? He's left that one in America. Think so, aye. Uh, yeah, was it? Did not beat Atlee. Um, Ray Houghton scored that goal. I, I remember. I'm sure it was Italian ninety because it was. Um, he. I'm sure they did not beat Atlee. They go close. He got three quarters or something, but was that ninety or ninety four? But I'm sure it was Italian. I'm sure it was ninety, but yeah, maybe. Um, maybe. Um, but I well, I think she's bossing that because. Ah, that's what it is. I don't imagine Parky would have done any. <laughs> no, I don't think so. As you say, <laughs> we've not been blessed with, with great goalies over the years. I think Boric and, and Foster, as I say, it's been the general consensus on this that Foster's probably the better goalkeeper. But I went, I went back to Boric for exactly the same reasons as you because he came to the club and just fucking bought it his and it was just a die hard and that too. arrogance and the flag stuff and what he done was the fans love that man no taking away from the fact he was a fucking really really good keeper by the way no, no, no. Aye, really really good keeper he was unreal man somebody says he used to be but big boss very well but aye, it's hard to pick it up it's hard to see the two and I'm not wrong but I'm not going to go with your fullbacks whatever one you want right ok right so um, your man, KT. Right, so I was talking to him and I was saying to him about this, and he was giving me a bit of cheek, and I was talking about the Batman and Steve. <coughs> so I know KT. Um, nah, I think he's just a bit of a cheek so far, man. But he was saying he said KT is not ready, he said he's Celtic for the crown, solid, he's staying at the Premiership. He'd walk into, I'm convinced, KT would walk into any team in the planet. Ah, we yeah, spoke yeah, about it, mate. Problem, for, for me, he walks into a, a Man City, he walks into problem. a PSG, he walks I into a Barcelona. I don't I think, I I think he can adapt as well. The way obviously, he's, he's got the aggression and going forward and a good final boss. So, see, see the likes of it. Obviously, he's a really, really good club in Arteta. Gain a bit of time. Yeah. Obviously, they'll tough his beat of Northern Knights, so that was uh, a good one. I mean, Katie Gondelman, right? Like, Played well, man. He's on assist, but. Aye, like really good assist, good finish. Um, yeah. But uh, Katie, by a mile, I don't think anybody comes in close nah, to Katie. Nah, I don't think so. Katie, so. Um, the other fallback, Nate Bajaki. Good for Jackie. When you were talking earlier about right. when Manavich, he started right. going to. Was it supposed to be Ivanovich, by the way? I, 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 I actually thought you were maybe going to say McGrain. Because he went and started watching the Fitbit and that? No, man, no. Just, I think he just came. Oh, uh, Jackie's a bastard. That was just before me, I've never really seen him, not seen any of that. That's my back to his real talk. Is that? Uh, yeah. right. I love Jackie. Jackie was phenomenal, um, a good captain as well at times. Um, uh, I think you know, the, 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 the circumstances we are leaving. Still rankle with me a wee bit. I think the club treated them a bit shoddily, didn't they? They were sort of busting up on that, as it? Nah, but, um, I know, mate, I know. But no, Jackie for me, like, what he was, was phenomenal, Jackie. What a player. Solid, consistent every week, and Aye. just die hard Celtic, Jackie, oh, no day for me. Centre halves. Centre halves, right. You know, Paul Elliott. Aye, he's been in three or four teams, mate. Paul Elliott for you. me, and that was when Celtic were ranked on. I always remember him scoring the cup final. Oh, yeah, the first two years, wasn't he? Aye, he scored the cup final went against Rangers, he got beat. But I remember him scoring a heap of it, he was lying on the ground. Ah, sorry, I, I remember, remember that, aye, aye. And he got in and he was lying on the ground. Um, so I, Paul Elliott, I just think, at that point, I think he came from Chelsea. Did he? Right. He was a good, I, he was a good centre off. Um, I think he'd have been there. Right, I stink in the first six months or something like that. Aye. Ah, he, he came in there, but... He did, and I always go, he stuck out in, in a club set of Aye, that made him make it. Done right, aye. Um, the other one, but a mile, Virgin. Big Virgil. I'm still claiming, I'm still claiming this, by the way. See the first two games I watched Virgil Van Dyke, I knew he was going to be what he is now. Uh, he's the one like the centre half I've ever seen in my life. He just even run for the ball. He needs to get him up there. And, and know that, very, very, very rarely you see him on his ass sliding. No, I know. Never. He's so composed, isn't he? When we, when we go home, I think he was 21 year old, and I was the same as you. So that was like nine, nine years ago. I remember seeing him the first couple of years, and I was like, wow. Aye, man, who's this guy? He knew right away he was going he for was a tackle, didn't he? He was kicks on and on. Paradise, wasn't it? He done it Easter Road, he done it Hamden, I'm not sure. Against, I think it was in Vermes or something, he didn't the tackle on him. But, as I said, like, he didn't have a run for the ball, he didn't need it. 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 He didn't
he's got to be able to make me the best out of off. I don't know, I know that even without you, right? I don't think anybody touches him, man. Uh, a, 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 lot, a lot of people don't like like your man, your man Ramos. I think it's just his attitude and that. But for oh. me, for me, Ramos is you know, one of the best center halves in the uh, world for my the old time. He's an absolute club. I love it. I went through it last week, sitting in the rain. I'm sure he's somewhere 21 or kids or somewhere. Mm. And it, He's a big one in there every week to get licked, man. I'm a big peppy, man. You're a fucking animal, I know, man. I love it. Wouldn't you? By the way, maybe I'll get past him because he's going to get past him and get the pop with the table. Aye. Mindy, the one with Pepe with the dad. Mindy just started volleying the guy in the heat. Kind of made it game, man. But he just lost it, aye. Started putting the guy in the face, man. Seen a few of them. Oh, mental. Right, who are we going in? Who are we going out right in front of Jackie and Katie then? Right, my uh, in front, on the wings, she won't be Mac on the left in front of Katie? Aye, Mac on the right, I mean, Jesus, I think anybody can have better Mac on the right. He's been on a lot of the teams in a while, mate. Right. Been on a lot. He, he, he again was the, a player that he expected work later, but the flashes of brilliance just was enough, was not it? Just, like, I was at Old Trafford when he scored the free kick. Just talking about last um, night, actually. And like Celtic were brought back there because I remember the kicks, kicks jumped to the whole of the goalie, didn't they? Aye, aye. Shocking, but they put their back, didn't they? Look at the goal. It's probably the best, one of the best goals of Celtic goals I've ever seen. It was Mac Amara's goal in that free kick against Man United at Parkham. And it was just, it was hype. It was postage stamp. There was many, many people around. See if he puts his hands up, he's got about 12 fat. No chance he'd get it. No. What a goal, man. I know. Aye, it's, the best, it's the best free kick I can't see live. Definitely. 100%. You've um, seen me in the ball and that's gone a few, but uh, I don't think you can beat that one, man. And you just named, did you say Bilbao on the outside? Is that how you're going to be a Lubo? He's the only player the rest of the year I've seen cracking the ball in his arse. I've spoken to that. There was a guest heart for it. I've never seen anything like it. Right in the corner, right just in. Aye. Come out the crowd, just brunt. Aye. Did you know? Was that the game he scored the corner or not? I'm not sure. I think they scored a corner. Straight in. I remember, one of the first things I remember about the Liverpool as well, like it stuck to my head and all this. Celtic and they won it in. I don't know how long it was, a long time, and he scored to the goal, remember? It was in the King, I think he was 50. 3 0. 3 0. An old guy, never. Well, he was old, wasn't he, when we got him? His first first game at Paradise always sticks out, doesn't it? And he scores that, he done just stunned, but. He's part of the year. <laughs> he, I remember he scored a free kick at Park Heed against Marlowe, and I remember before him it was in goals, and it was um, Celtic were going to light, and it was like a proper important game. And Celtic couldn't have break him down, and he scored a free kick, and I always remember that. I was like, that's pressure. Aye. Like, Celtic. Nothing looked free spot, didn't you know? When you see when you've got that ability, why should you? What a fucker. Aye, I mean, I, 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 right. I, I, I still see these, these guys that definitely the best. Gifted Celtic football player I've ever seen, yeah. without a doubt, man, isn't he? But you think it's good to be there, like, I know people say it all the time, but how did he go under the radar for so long and nobody picked him up? What? I think, I think there's, I think I've spoken about it a, a few times. I'm, I'm sure there was, there's something maybe on Google or online that he, he was meant to be signing the Juventus before he came to us, but he broke his leg. Oh, I think that did but that, no. he, even then, but I think he was like 27, 28. Right. So, uh, aye, what all, all, shift, man. obviously Zidane spoke about him and all that, so... Like, just he, what a player, oh. like, just crazy, man. Just Unbelievable, Some man. ability, but he was just as comfortable on his left as he was his right. But, aye, definitely. Nah, you don't, mate. You don't. He's trying to go to their favourite side and take an arse out too much. He's still, aye, probably, but they say he had a preferred fit. No. The goals he scored pace right, didn't he, man? It was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Right, did I need to ask one of the ones in the middle, no? Eh, uh, who do you think it is? The maestro? Paul McStay all day. The maestro. For all the reasons, obviously, that I see Bella Ronan. Ah. Ken Selig. He must have got a hump, that guy, Kerry Selig, that one. Um, ah, how can I? I think McStay quite like Jackie and, and, and KT and, and your team so far is not just ability-wise, it, it, it was the way they carried a cell off a football park as well, wasn't it? But, Never in the media for any bad, and the way they spoke to the media, the way they came across as a person. And yeah. Obviously, as you say, you do stuff 
40, 50 percent of your foundation stuff flies under the radar. Mm -hmm. I think the same can be said for like the guys, guys like Kieran and that. Oh, that the, nobody knows half the stuff that you he does and probably back in the day with stay and all that done for Aye, not killing stuff like oh, that, you know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. I mean, and that, that's good actually because you'll be going to the next one with Bruni. Um, stop, Bruni the amount of stuff that Bruni does for just me, my charity, under the radar that, that he does me. Not once he's Scott ever said to me, go on and he's a wee fog on social media for being this or being that. It's not him, he's just a genuinely crack guy. Aye. You know what I mean? On the park, an absolute warrior by the for Celtic. Um, he's been an un unbelievable captain, um, on and off the park, just please the example, I can't believe I'm sitting bumming him up around here, probably watch this or not. Um, <laughs> I tell him, he was on our one, he was going to be on our one, I tell him he's replaced him with Peter Grant, who couldn't stop him. Oh, Grant Vatter, <laughs> to the finish of the start of the set again. Right. I'm sticking with the subs, guys. Right, but Bruni, I mean, you'll not get, you'll probably get a more successful captain in Scotland, you'll never see one. I don't, think, I don't think you'll see the lights again. And no. I, listen, I hope, I hope we do. I just think, obviously, Cal Mack seems to be to be, well. to be falling on his footsteps, and I think he'll see out his career. But I think if you get a, a player of Bruni's talent coming to Celtic at 21 year old, as we spoke about earlier, with the money that's in Fitpa, he's he's if we get a boy like that, and listen, talk about Fatter, but what young Rocco. Uh -huh. uh, he's, he's absolutely flying so isn't yeah, but that. if you get a guy like that coming through and he's having two and three good seasons uh -huh. you've got 20 well you don't know what you're going to be getting uh -huh. by the time totally. 10 years come uh -huh. you're talking a million pounds you're talking 250 million pound players in the, uh -huh. the next five or six years by the way until I don't know how, how long this FFP will, will last this FIFA fair play thing will last but it's all I've mentioned that. The big guns have got the money, they'll spend it, won't they? So, I'm not going to stop them. But I bring it because not just, like, I don't know how many trophies Bruins won. 20, 20, 21, 14 years or something. People can. Maybe they're high. So, funny, they're saying, talking to you, I'm not going to chat, right? And, you know, he's pains us well, obviously, but he's helped me a lot as well. And we've just talked about this talking to you, I've got it. He said something to you, something like, listen, I've won that trophy to you. I can fucking do that, right? I've got you from whatever one man. I've got you fucking do that. I've got you. But Bruni, just what a guy, do you know what I mean? Right, it's I've, got, I've got a funny story about Bruni, actually. I can, I can tell you, like, the. Um, Go for it. Sell, I thought it's Sell, we're playing at Pink Castle. Under Brendan. Um, so, we'd arrange, so we're going out, we're going out for a Sally, we're going out for Edinburgh, so, it's his bar, right? Get to see you over with some pub in the grass market, right? And he um, was like, I need more, but I don't know how I've done it, right? But I've ended up going to the game with myself, even. And I'm like, ah, oh. ah. So I've had to go, I went to Glasgow to Edinburgh to the game, went to Edinburgh back to Glasgow to the time, and then back to. So they're all half drunk by the time I go there. So they get into the, and the pub was on like a hill like that. Right? I know the grass market, all these corners, that must oh, be a fucking hell of a I'm, I'm there, you know, hippie, don't you? Aye, aye. Yeah. He's, he's different class. I've met him a couple of league games, actually. Best of all life. Peter? Peter? No, that's his name. Sean. Sean, aye, aye. Just aye. the best ever, right? And, like, that's the connection. Like, I know these guys with KT and, um, uh, and Brown, that, through, through hippie, that. So, but uh, hippies, I don't know if hippie came late. I, I can't remember if he picked them up. Back through, anyway. So there was me, hippie, Carter Hibs, well, he's like, um, Tam the kit man and old Joyce and that and Cat and just mad high reason. Um but you uh on a corner was there, so he played. Oh right, aye, aye. Um Gary Farkar, people like that. So you for us so um and so we're playing pool. So I want to a shot, I had to take a shot. So oh, I'm right. so just in the door not really. <laughs> so I think that was sitting on this big bar still thing and um so Brownie's lattes. He wanted a fight and that's like ah, he gets a fight, so he's ready. Like <laughs> 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 <laughs>
So he's took the chair, right out, and I think it was at the, the time where the Edinburgh Festival was up to go right, it was oh, even, right, right even. He took the chair out, the bird put it out, I was like, ah, right, so he's put the chair out, and he's like, and then, um, ah, what are you going to do now? Like, <laughs> so yeah, I've seen him going, oh, fuck, and he's ran at the pub, he forgot about the brakes on, right, Did and they? the chair the way down the hill, <laughs> and he's away running after, it was like something at a train spot, and man, he's away running after, I said, chair, and they down, and people oh. stopping. That's Scott Brown, she's my own chair, I'm going to get down, man. Honestly, oh, I'm going to get down, man. But, aye, uh, you know what, I was like, I know, man. I need to get away, get you out for a part two just to tell stories, man. Oh, jeez, no, there's no many I can tell, to be fair, but... Aye, yeah, uh, man, aye. But, um, but I know it was a laugh, he's, well, what, uh, he was pushing me, we were going to this pub, and, honestly, God, man, it's like, the only Pepsi Max, you know what I mean, like, him pushing me, I was like... I saw the cobbled streets now, down the back here, innit? He was slaughtering, um, I was like, I used to remember just about that, and everybody did the, the photo he took, remember, when he was in the street, and I was like, I said, oh, I've always wanted to ask you this question, you see people going, oh, no, what, what was it, you're going on your pizza that night, and he's like, oh, I was just fucking funny. Oh, God, you know. I can imagine seeing the next day, Brunny, how did you get back in the day, mate? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, unbelievable, isn't it, like, Good, good looking team so far, mate. Uh, so you're down to two hours, so buying the goals in for you. The king. The king. The king. The king. The king. The The king. The king. The king. The The king. The king. The king. The king. The king. The The king. The 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 Definitely Wayne Biggins. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. No. But I, listen, I'm probably going to go for another one that you're probably going to be surprised about. I mean, a lot of people would go with something or they would go with hats and all. I never. But you know, no. like, so I'm going to go for somebody that wasn't there that long, actually. But I've always been a fan of him, like watching him playing down in England. Um, obviously, he was the league series for all the sports. But I think Gayat Cash or other people, it's Robbie Keane. Keen, eh? Keen, he's, that's the first he's been in it, by the yeah, way. Like, I went to Den Belly. No, he's not there. I mean, he, I, know, I know that Keen wasn't there that long, but I think I've just obviously, I'd been a fan of Robbie Keen before he even came up to Sally. And he looked like <coughs> a lot of fans were there, wasn't he? He was probably the Republic of Ireland that and on. He was scoring big goals and like, oh, he was phenomenal. Robbie Keen was a player, but I'd probably just come up here for six months to do his nosey, didn't he? Like, I think it was one of the ones that was a, it was a tick on his bucket list, wasn't it? I think you're right, but right. for me it's just... Because he came up and gave everything. On the park, didn't he? Ah, I assume he showed a couple of hat picks and I actually just go back in paradise and all that. Left foot, right foot, he got him, sure. But Robbie Keane have always been a big fan, so as I said, I could have went to Dundee, I could have went to Pierre and all. Big Pierre was decent, Andy Tom. Um, Cadet. Josh Cadet. Aye, oh, that's absolutely. That's been quite a lot, quite a lot of love for for me, Hooper, in it, I know, Hooper, Hooper, Hooper. I, like, I like Hooper. I like Gary Hooper as well, but I'm uh, Robbie Keane fan all day long. So ah, yes, listen, that's a crack side. Once I put the, the interview in that up, I put a wee best of living up, up next mm-hmm. day and it'll put your team up. One thing I never asked you, I forgot all about, don't know how, but your, your favourite derby? Favourite derby? One, one, one at the, one at the shit pit, one at Paradise. Right, okay. Right. I forgot all about that. Um, we'll finish on that, but it's not rocket science, is it? The sixth term. Aye, so that's that's been kind of, I would say, top of the bill for mm-hmm. everybody. My last, who was my last interview? I don't, can't even remember anyway. I, I, I can't see past the five million, can we win the league against them? Well, that was good. Aye. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. And obviously, when Anil came in, we were, we were heavy, heavy struggling, mm-hmm. so that game was. Unbelievable, yeah. I think three and a half to eleven minutes. Yeah. I was your memory of that, then. Do you know the memory? I sat in the dog's team up. Um, so I was a So I sat in the Four, four, one. Yeah, four, one, seven, I was like, I think. Oh, yeah. Three, seven, I'm talking about. So she just with the Celtic TV batters. Um, I've made a less right hand to goals. I've made a hand to goals. So the Kings chip. No, it's chip. Cloth? Aye. Right under me, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, aye. Like, oh, aye. Aye, pets are the first part, do you know? Aye, aye, 
Is it turning the tide? I think it's a big fight. Then there's six weeks later, I'm going to ask you to come out. It's slow back, baby. Big flow. Aye, aye. That's right. But, or that, and for me, but once for Ibrox, man. I mean, after that time there, she had to just get pumped at Ibrox all the time. And like, you're like, this is absolutely murder, man. Right, but, they do nothing, man. We look low on the game. Nah, what a said that. That was up there because it's a good one. Um, but see the one they beat them was it five one? Um, they were. The Rogers. Was it five one? Five nine? Five nine. Ah, I don't know. I remember it, but I. But they were going to hang with some of Rogers with a different mindset. You're going there thinking how many we're going to take after them, and they knew that. Do you know what I mean? But no, no. Keep that swinging back the other way and just go. Get him a tennis on it. It's like. Well, as I said, I just feel that they I think we are so, as you say, we're on a horrible new run against them now. It's just to get the Mickey after the back and take a bit of pressure after them. Oh, a season that was always going to be um, difficult to really tell them about regardless. Um, Aye, but even, even how bad last season was, I didn't think they'd done that bad in the Darties. They're a couple of decent performances. You look at the run at Celtic Park, right, and it's a clear penalty on, on Ed Bob. Oh, every and day that, I mean, mm. Jesus Christ, and I think you booked them for it. That kind of summed it up in the dark room. Um, but, um, but I just thought, aye, they deserve that one. But, I mean, Celtic didn't do too bad with the last one, I would say. Thought they played quite well. Your Anna Bitch came in there, didn't he? He's debuting quite well. But I, I seen that. I, I seen that on the. I seen that in the news today. I thought I could do it. Did he make you at Brother Beaton's big game? Gave the final. Did you see it, aye? I did see it, aye, but I seen them. Do you know what? I can't really jump on the bandwagon and, and, and the whole bung allegations thing and all that, but... No, I don't think so with that. I think, I think they're so for me, it's actual performances on the park. They've been absolutely pish poor. It has know. been, there's been, like, I can't remember that guy's name, it was on the radio and he was trying to say, aye, it was a big decision in the heart's game and that, right? Now, you're talking a marginal last night, you're right, but you're not talking about if you hear the third park and it's great, nah. like, like, do you know what I mean? Nah. But how far do you go back to that? So you get somebody on the radio and you... He's going to explain, listen, this was the wrong decision. What about the one at the start of the season when we were against Abada? You know what I mean? Uh, I think you can get back to the, the very first game of the season. We get one chopped off at Tide Castle. That's the one I'm talking and, about. And Andy Halliday. Yeah, he's at the half. By that, that's a more tackle for the man or the other at Butcher. Horrendous um, challenge, mate. I mean, one of the worst tackles I've seen in a long time. But, like, I, get, I get the point, like, right, all these players need to make a mark and, and put a stamp of for it on the game, but they were big. The game was done. Aye, um, but it's a shocking challenge, and especially when you turn about having injuries, he's so like been put in there with, with, with one thing in his mind, and we all know that what that was. Aye, definitely, mate. Definitely, man. So, what, what do you think, end of the season? What do you think, Scott, you the trophy cabinet? You fancy this for the league? I don't know. It, I know I'm the same, mate. I don't, I don't know. know. I think it's a hard question to ask until January's at the right. Do you know what? I was kind of hoping Rangers would have kept the hobby, um, uh, which is Colin Stephen Gerrard, because. I felt that they were stale. I think he lost the pot. Aye, they were stale, they were stuttering, and but they broke, broke hands on the first time. And it's as manager, as this happens, you bring in a new manager, everybody gets kind of getting going again. And I think that's what's happened to the Rangers. But I do think we've still got um, their coming after the bench and you've got by the way. So, but as I said, if we can get into January, we're only still maybe three or four points behind them. Um, and, and we're going by two or three players and get a cut out. I think it's like no time I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. I don't know. Well, I think I fancy it's strong to be him, so we'll have that, but the league's a hard one to call. Have you got a funny team in there? Ah, you look at that. They were brought in the game. They were brought in six league games, I think. They had me, but you know, your Sailor Cup final is totally different than anything that can happen, but. You can guys that boil on that, you can hurt you. Well, she's one of the kind of guys that I don't want to buy. I don't want to get. I don't think he's got that much ability, but she, he's got the same as Kyogo, he's tagging it in behind all the time. You've got to look at guys like that and his stats, and obviously Johnson's just come back to an injury, but you've got to look at that and how is that worth a wee swap? Do you know your minutes? I see the same thing in the rain. Do you know your minutes? Do you know your back, I know. Aye, um, but uh, aye mate, that's been, that's been brilliant, thoroughly enjoyed it. Cheers for having me, um, I appreciate it. No, bye mate, no, thanks everybody. No, the raises the money that night for no, the year. Um, 
Again guys, th thanks for watching, hit that wee like and subscribe button on YouTube. Um, I'll have this up on YouTube tonight and I'll share it on my socials with, with John on Facebook and Twitter. So keep a wee eye out for it, get a wee share. Check John's foundation stuff out on his socials as well. And take care trips, stay safe and I'll catch you in a couple of weeks with uh, another two podcasts to squeeze in a four Christmas. So in a bit guys, take care, cheers.